Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we are going to see an example on superposition technique. Here the question is asking to find out the voltage across this 5 ohm resistor. Now in superposition technique, what we do is when we have current source and voltage source, we remove the current source and throw a circuit and find the voltage, whatever the voltage required. Here we are asked to find out the voltage across the 5 ohm resistor. So we have to first remove the current source and calculate the voltage across the 5 ohm resistor and then we have to short circuit the voltage source and then we have to find the voltage across the 5 ohm resistor and if we add them together and that's if if we add them together that's going to be equal to the actual voltage across the 5 ohm resistor now let's see how we can do this so first of all we know that uh, when we have current source we remove them right when we have current source we remove them when we have voltage source we short circuit them so first step we remove the current circuit and I mean current source and throw the circuit and that's gonna be look like this okay and here we have the voltage source 10 voltage and then here we have this 10 ohm and then here we have the 5 ohm and that's it this is 10 ohm this is 5 ohm and this is 5 ohm and this is also this is 2 ohm and this is 10 volt 2 ohm 10 ohm 5 ohm and that's it right now we have simplified the circuit now what we have to do is we we should see whether we can simplify this one furthermore and if you look at the 2 ohm and 5 ohm those are in series so we can add them together and create a new circuit and the new circuit is going to be look like this we are going to have this 7 ohm resistor because 5 plus 2 is 7 and then here we are going to have this 10 ohm and then here we are going to have this 5 ohm and here we have this voltage source okay that is 10 voltage and that's it now let's see whether we can simplify furthermore now you can see that we have 10 ohm and 7 ohm in series actually in parallel so when we have the uh, resistance in parallel we can find the equivalent resistance by simply multiplying them and dividing by the addition 10 plus 7 and that's going to give us 70 over 17 and that's going to be the equivalent resistance for these two so let's go ahead and draw that one plus minus this one is 17 70 over 17 and here we have this 5 ohm this is 10 voltage this is our 5 ohm okay now to keep track of our voltage so previously we simplified this one from this to this right so we have this v3 here and v2 here and uh, we simplified this one furthermore like this still we have the v3 right here and v2 here and now from this one we can find the voltage across V3, V2 to find the voltage across V3, V2 V3, 2 we do the voltage division voltage division is basically whatever the voltage we are trying to find here we are to trying to find this voltage across this one so that's going to be the resistance in between is going to be top on top divided by the total resistance total resistance since we are, have this one in series that's going to be just the addition so 70 over 17 plus 5 okay plus 5 and if you calculate this one and also multiply by this 10 voltage 10 voltage and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 4.516 voltage so that's going to be the voltage across this v3 and v2 right now we found out the voltage across this one and the next step is if you notice this this uh, this is actually v1 right here because I simplified from here to here so this V3, V2 is one way, this is one way right and also from other way you see like from here to here this also connected with V3 and V2 right so it means this, if this voltage is 4.516 this must be also equal to 4.56 in the in that, that way too right so this uh, 4.516 distributed proportionally according to the according to the resistance now if you want to find the resistance through v1 and v2 you have to find the 
resistance in I mean you have to find the voltage in 5 ohm resistance right V1 V2 across V1 V2 so we have to find the resistance in between 5 ohm resistance that's the one in between right so now to find that one we use this equation V1 to that's, that's what we are trying to find because that is what we are interested in our main purpose is to find the voltage across this 5 ohm resistor so that's why we are trying to find this one V1 V2 uh, that's going to be V12 we can express like this so 5 ohm is on top and again voltage division you can see that one right here right so 5 ohm over the total resistance so total resistance in between V3 and V2 in this side we have 7 5 plus 2 right 5 plus 2 and then if you multiply 5 plus 2 then multiply by V3 to be calculator and that's going to give you 5, 4, 5 over 7 times 4.516 and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 3.2258 voltage now this is the voltage when we remove the current source and find it now now we have to find out what's going to be the voltage across this 5 ohm resistor when we sort circuit the voltage stage source and find the voltage now to sort circuit we have to draw the diagrams again now since we have found this is our main thing so this is when we removed the current source right now we have to sort circuit the voltage source and find the voltage across the 5 ohm resistor now I rejected of these parts so I solved the first part right first part is removing the current source and finding the voltage across the 5 ohm resistor now we have to short circuit the five vo uh, voltage source so current source remains the same 1 ampere and then here we are going to have this 5 ohm and here we have this 2 ohm and here we have this 10 voltage and here we have okay 10 volt we are short circuit the voltage source so that's going to look like just a straight line okay then 10 ohm and here we have 5 ohm and this is also connected now let's start simplifying the circuit here we have this kind of circuit and uh, if you notice this 5 ohm and 10 ohm we can combine them together these two are in parallel if we combine since this, uh, this is in parallel we can find the equivalent resistor by simply multiplying and addition, adding by the addition, adding the oh, I mean adding the resistors so this is going to be 5 plus 10 so this is going to be 50 over 15 that's going to be the equivalent, equivalent resistor here so here we are going to have the new diagram that's going to look like this 5 ohm and here we have 2 ohm and the equivalent resistor we found out that's 50 over 15 ohm and uh, here we have this one number entering this one and that's it now see, if you look at this one these two are in series this 5 ohm and 50 over 15 in series so we can find the equivalent resistor by simply adding them when we when this is in series that's just the addition right and if you add them together that's going to give you 8.33 ohm okay now we found out the equivalent resistor for this one and we have this 2 ohm remaining and uh, also 1 ampere is entering this one and uh, now we simplify the circuit right now we simplify the circuit and you can see this one ampere entering should be going through this one and this one only two possible ways well, well it should go through this one also this should go through this one so this is distributed proportionally now again to find out the current through this 8.33 that's what we are interested in right because we have we are, our, mem uh, our main purpose is to find the voltage across this 5 ohm resistor so if this current current is entering like this we, have, we are interested in finding the current across this 8.33 now to find that one what we have to do is we just use the current division so let's call this one I1 let's call this one I1 and let's call this one I2 so we are interested in finding I1 I1 is going to be equal to 
1 over 8.33 over 1 over 8.33 plus 1 over 2 right so when we find the voltage we just directly put them but when we try to find the current we put the inverse like 1 over right that's the difference then you have to multiply this one by the current 1 ampere and that's going to give you the current across this one so here if you calculate this one you should get 0 0.1935 ampere so since this is going through this one so the current going through 5 ohm also same thing right now the main thing is we are trying to find the voltage current is not our purpose so we are going to find the voltage what to find the voltage v is equal to ir we found out the current that is 0 0.1935 multiplied by 5 because we are interested in current uh, voltage across the 5 ohm resistor so multiply by 5 you should get 0 0.967 voltage now we found out the voltage across the 5 ohm resistor after we short circuit the voltage source now we have both of the information available this is when we remove the current source and find the voltage and this is when we short circuit the voltage source and find the voltage so if we add them together so the voltage across V12 across this one that is 5 ohm resistor through the 5 ohm resistor between the 5 ohm resistor that's going to be equal to the addition of these two 3.2258 plus 0 0.967 and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 4.1935 voltage and that's going to be the final answer i hope this helps thanks for watching